Cyclocross friends. It's Thursday, October 15th, 2020, and you are tuned in to the CX Hair CX Heat Check Power Rankings, where we're counting down the top 11 men and top 11 women in cyclocross this week. If you are unfamiliar with the CX Heat Check, here's how it works. We use a sophisticated algorithm based on years of cyclocross data to accurately and precisely rank the top men and women currently racing cyclocross. You may disagree with the results, and we welcome you to do so. But no, dear cyclocross compatriots, that the CX Heat Check is not only based on math, it is also based on science. And with that, let's get into it, starting with the women. Coming in at number 11 is the Canadian Magley Rocket Rochette. Holding it down for North America, Mags capped off a weekend of racing electric and regular old pedal-powered bikes at MTB World Champs before jetting over to Switzerland to win the International's Radker Steinmar race. Slipping into the 10th spot is Sheeran Van Anroy. The Trek Factory Racing Lion finished 8th at Ravencross and 9th at Heaton. I.E. not E.I. It's a town, not a goat. And Sheeran's success there puts her 10th in the power rankings. In ninth is Denise Betsima. Moving on to the A spot. And you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one Verdun shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Eighth place. Eight mile. Verdun shot. In the heat check. We're at number seven. And it's Sané Khan. The Belgian national champ and multiple time world champ took sixth at Raymond Cross, seventh at Polder Cross, and tenth at Heaton after giving the field an early head start. In sixth place is Madden Backer, a second place at Rabin Cross, followed by a fifth place at Polder Cross, and in eighth at Heaton, the Credit Shop Freestad's young gun is turning heads early. And that brings us to the wide angle podium of the CX Hairs CX Heat Check. And on the fifth step is Yara Castellin. Fifth place at Raven Cross, second place at Polder Cross, and a strong fourth place finish after an early Heaton Yara sale has Castline firmly in fifth. In fourth place, it's Anik Van Alphen. The revelation of this nascent season, Van Alphen was sixth at Heaton and fourth at Polder Cross, which had her neck and neck with Castline for the fourth spot. But it was her opening salvo at Raven Cross where she took the victory that gave her the edge and the fourth position in the heat check. Which brings us to our top three. And if you follow Cyclocross even as a casual fan, the remaining three will not be a surprise. Here's a spoiler. It's this trio. The question is, how will they stack up? Well, let's find out. In third place, it's Anne-Marie Wurst. Healthy and ready to race, the world's runner-up starts her season at Heaton and surprises no one except maybe herself with a strong second place finish. Which leaves us with two, Lucinda Brand and Salen Del Carmen Alvarado. Brand is coming into the season strong with a third place at Raven Cross, the first win of the season for the Lions at Polder Cross, and a third place at Heaton. A strong argument for the top step, but not strong enough to beat out prime time. It should go without saying that to be the champ, you gotta beat the champ. Alvarado starts the weekend off in Austria, grabbing a bronze medal in the U23 MTB XEO World Champs race before transferring to Heaton to take the win in her first cyclocross race of the year. 1992 Deion Sanders couldn't have done it any better, which is a long-winded way of saying Brand is second and Alvarado tops the charts in the first heat check power rankings of the year. While you take a look at the top 11, and ponder whether if a tree falls in a random decision forest, will anyone hear it in random subspace? We will move on to the men. Starting us off in 11th place is the next one, the young lion, Thibaut Simba Nice. Strong fifth place performance at Polder Cross before getting yenteled all up in the shtetl before DNFing at Heaton. Thibaut more like T-bone on that day. In 10th place, it's Tone. Tone? That can't be right. Oh, it's it's Tone Vanderbosch. Vanderbosch. Strong fifth place at Raven Cross put him on the board, but he's going to have to stick with that front group to remain there. Okay, now stay with me here. Tone Vanderbosch, 
is baby sauce. We're at the nice spot, and it's Vinny, Vincent Bastian. He looked good in the EKZ and followed it up with 10th at Polder Cross, 13th at Raven Cross, and 9th at Heaton. That puts Opie in 9th in the heat check. In 8th place on the CX heat check power rankings is Don Sota. A pair of 12th place finishes at Polder Cross and Raven Cross before kicking it up to 7th at Heaton has our man Don in 8th. 7th in the ranking is Michael Van Tornout. 4th at Rape and Cross and 8th in a stronger heat and field. Van Tornout has his work cut out to move up. Michael Van Tornout is scary sauce. In 6th place is Ryan Camp, the latest Dutch young gun. U23 world champ finished 9th at Polder Cross, 6th at Rape and Cross, and 6th at Heaton. An easy work for the algorithm, 6th in the heat check. Ryan Camp is posh sauce. The fifth spot belongs to Lars Vanderhaar, the original young gun, and now the veteran. When did that happen? Vanderhaar finished seventh at Ravencross and fifth at Heaton to earn him the last step on the wide angle podium. In fourth place is Corn Van Kessel, sixth place at Polder Cross and fourth at Heaton, has Van Kessel looking strong in the early season. Which brings us to our top three. And in third place is Lauren Sweck. He's the Belgian national champ, but is he elite? Is he a subtopper? Those are questions of opinion. And the heat check is all about facts. Second at Boulder Cross, third at Rape and Cross, and third at Heaton, plops Sweck in third in the power rankings. More importantly, Lauren Sweck is ginger sauce. And that leaves us with just two. And again, if you even casually follow field racing, you know who is left. Tone Ertz and Ailey Ezerby, which may leave you asking. Hey, where's the meat? Where? Well, it's on the road. While Wout and Matthew beef on the cobbles, we need to decide who reigns supreme on the dirt and sand. And for this week, it's a clear choice. Ailey won Rape and Cross, was third at Polder Cross and second at Heaton. Tone won Polder Cross, was second at Rape and Cross, and won again at Heaton, which means that Tone Ayers and his podium boon are on the top step of the CX Hairs CX Heat Check Power Rankings, and Ellie Ezerbeat is second. Also, Ailey is sporty sauce. While you take a look at the top 11 men in the Heat Check Power Rankings, I'll ask you to take a second to subscribe to the Wide Angle Podium channel and leave a thumbs up for this video. Also, leave us a comment to let us know where you think the algorithm got it wrong. Believe me, it didn't get anything wrong, but, but we still want to hear your theories, so comment below. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Man, it is great to be back. Cyclocross friends. Thank <laughs> you.